Yesterday, I showed you a video on how to fuse items to the glitched Master Sword, which is unbreakable, making it a little bit stronger and, of course, indestructible, so you have the effects of whatever you fused it to forever. Well, in this video, it's another step up. Today, we're going to show you guys how to use that glitched, unbreakable Master Sword and fuse it to an entirely new sword with a fused item so that you get all of that power added on to your Master Sword with a base of 30 damage anyway. So this is going to give you the most powerful weapon that you can get in the game. And in addition to that, it is also going to be unbreakable. All right, so let's show you guys how that works. First things first, of course, this glitch that you're about to watch can be done with any weapon onto any weapon. However, Ever. I highly recommend you get the Invincible Master Sword from my video from a couple of days ago to do this with because that is going to maximize your use out of this because your one time making the most powerful weapon in the game is just never going to break and this is the only one, the only weapon that's not going to ever break when you do it. So you'll only have to do this glitch once if you have one of these swords. It's over on my YouTube. I will leave it linked in the description of this video as well as in the, in the, the windows at the end so you can Click right into it if you want to check that out to see how you can get an invincible master sword. The next step, I highly recommend you go into the flying Hyrule castle and go all the way up to the top chamber, the main chamber where you originally started your fight with Ganon's thing in the previous game, Breath of the Wild, because there's a weapon you want to grab in here. It doesn't matter necessarily where you grab it. However, this is the most convenient place to get one since everyone knows where this one is. So I'm just going to show you what room that is I'm talking about right now. This is the main sanctum area in Hyrule Field, it says, but actually it's in the Hyrule Castle, which is up in the air. So come over here, face the Triforce and go up the stairs right over here. Go all the way up the stairs. Let's take a left. And we're going to just jump up this little rubbly area here with the statue. And behind here is a new weapon. It's a Royal Guards Claymore at level 32 damage. We're actually going to... Oh, I don't have any space for it. So make space for it because you'll want to be having this weapon. Absolutely. Let's just go ahead and get rid of something we don't need. And we're going to pick up the Royal Guards Claymore. So what's special about the Royal Guards Claymore is it doubles damage when it's about to break. However, we're also going to be fusing an item to that. So it's all going to get doubled. We're going to have a mad powerful weapon. It's going to be on the brink of breaking. However, we're going to be fusing this to our unbreakable MSG not found, our unbreakable Master Sword, which means we're going to get all the power and all the buffs of whatever we make with this Royal Guards Claymore added onto an unbreakable weapon, and it will indeed remain unbreakable. So that's the exciting part. Let's go ahead and do the next phase. We're going to buff up our Royal Guards Claymore. So in order to buff our sword, we're going to have to go and throw it into the mouths of the Rock Octoroks in Death Mountain. So here I've located three of them. You're able to put your sword into their mouths, one per Octorok every day in the game or every respawn. So here's one, which is just north of your main shrine for Goron City. Okay, so this is Goron City right here, as you can see. And this is the main shrine that you use to teleport there. And just north of it, Beside this cave entrance, you're going to have one Rock Octorok. Here, over here near the skulls, you're going to have another one, which is very distinguished. You'll be able to see it. And there's another one over here in the middle of the lizard, the top lizard lake. So there's three you can use to try and get a good buff. When you throw one in and you don't get one you like, you can change it to the next one and get a different buff. And if you don't get the ones you want, you can just wait until they all respawn and do uh, until you do get one you want. All right, so here is the first one just near where I marked. What we want to do is we want to have our sword out and we want to throw it not at him. We want to make sure he sucks it up. So we're just going to put it in range of him. I believe that's close enough. Is it? Yes, yes it is. So he's going to suck that up. He's going to churn it back out with a brand new buff. Wow, 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 that hurt. <laughs> let's pick it up. Let's have a look at what he gave me this time. Attack up plus six is pretty good. So just to clarify, I believe you can get a yellow buff, which is, looks like that, which are the good ones, up to attack plus 10. So it's up to you if you want to keep doing that until you do get the best attack up plus 10. Knock yourselves out, folks. You know how to do it now. I'm going to stick with attack up plus 6 and move on to the next stage to show you guys this. So the next part of the setup for this glitch is pretty straightforward. We're going to fuse something very, very powerful to our Royal Guards Claymore. Now I'm going to go into my items here. 
And let's have a look at the sorted version of this so it can show me the most powerful items I have for fusing, which is a Silver Lionel Saber. This is ordered by the most powerful fuse item. So Silver Lionel Saber Horn will give me 55. Let's go ahead and hold one of those, drop it, fuse it to my Royal Guards Claymore. And now we have a 93 with attack up plus six weapon, which is busted. That's super, super strong. That's really good. And the Claymore isn't even damaged yet. So next up, we're gonna hold Y and do spin to win and do a slam attack like this. As many times as it take for the message that it's badly damaged to come up. So this is gonna take maybe 16 tries. Let's go ahead and do it and I'll see you in a sec when I do get the message. All right, there it is. Your Silver Lionel Blade is badly damaged. And now it's 186 with plus six damage, which is just disgusting. Everything doubled. As you can see from the stats in the lower right box, the Royal Guards Claymore doubled its damage like it said it would, because that's its ability. But also the Silver Lionel Saber Horn also doubled, okay? That also doubled. And I'm pretty sure the attack up plus six doubles as well. It just doesn't say that. So this is a disgusting monster of a weapon, but we're not finished yet. We're going to be adding this with plus 30 to this, and we're going to be making it unbreakable, okay? So that's how this is going down. But the next thing you need to do is you need to make space for three more clones of this weapon right here. This is the weapon you want to attach to the Master Sword. So we're going to make three more spaces for this. So let's just drop things we do not want. Uh, those three weapons will do. And we're just going to go off to somewhere else, all right? Let's go to a different shrine. I like this shrine up here in the sky. It's pretty nice. Uh, we've been using it recently for some of the glitches. It's not necessary, but any shrine will do. So let's go ahead and off to this shrine. All right, here we are, just a daybreak. And next up, what we're going to do is we're going to clone this weapon. So in order to clone this Silver Lionel Blade three times, go ahead and make a hard save right here. A hard save... Okay, go over to your weapons, equip that if it's not already equipped, drop it, equip anything else, hit plus twice very fast, so the menu glitches like that. Drop your other equipped weapon, and then go over to the load. Let's load our hard save right here. Let's load that up. And for whatever reason, we actually do go back in time to the previous hard save, but we also bring one of the cloned weapons with us. So we still have the weapons we dropped, but we also have an extra one for the first one we dropped. And there it is lying right there beside you, Silver Lionel Blade. And as you can see, I now have two, as well as the spear that I dropped. So we still have everything. Now we're going to rinse and repeat that twice. So let's go ahead and make another hard save. It's just like this. Go back over to your weapons. Drop the equipped Silver Lionel Blade, equip anything else, plus plus, drop that, go over and load, the hard save, and you can tell it's the hard save by the fact that it does not have the word autosave labeled on it, so just make sure you don't make a mistake there. Just a side note guys, if you do not get a cloned weapon when you load back in, just go in and out of the shrine and then do another hard save like I'm about to do before you clone the next one. Shouldn't be too many issues here. This is only gonna be the case for a few people, I believe, and maybe only sometimes might depend on whether or not you moved a little bit from your original position. But you don't wanna be doing this inside the shrine. You'll have to do it outside the shrine because otherwise the save is a bit weird. I don't know why, but there you go. So now that we come out here, we're gonna make a new hard save in the grass. Let's go ahead and do that. Move over a little bit over here. All right. And then we're gonna go and make a hard save right here. Should do it. And we can continue duping the weapons once again. So let's go ahead over to our weapons. Let's drop the equipped sword. Let's equip something else. Plus plus. Drop that. Let's go over to the load and load the hard save, which you can see here has me in the field or the grass just outside the shrine. And upon loading, we can see we have another Silver Lionel Blade. So just for the sake of making sure it works this time, I'm gonna go over here, different location. I'm gonna hit the save once again. There we go. And then we're gonna go back over to our weapons. I'm gonna clone it one more. Drop that, equip that, plus plus. Drop that, 
and then go ahead and load for the final duped version of this weapon. And upon loading, we have our final silver line of blades. So it should look something like this. We have three silver line of blades right here. We have one over here and we also have our MSG not found. We are ready to make this insane weapon. So next up guys, we're actually going to go into the shrine. Let's go ahead into a shrine here. All right, once we're in the shrine of choice, we can make sure that it has a straight wall that we can use like this. This is a regular, normal straight wall. We're gonna stand about this distance from the wall, hit plus and make sure you have the MSG not found equipped. Let's go ahead and make a hard save here because this glitch could get a little messy, but it won't be an issue if it does when we have a hard save, which you can load up. So when we're kind of near the wall we want to use here, we're going to go ahead and hit plus, go over to our weapons, and we're going to drop one of the silver lino blades, making sure that we still have three in a row. Okay, that's important. Next up, we're going to go over to the wall, face plant the wall, Tap down gently on your joystick so Link does a 180. And then let's go ahead and hit ZL to whip out our shield. I just want to show you this with the camera. I'm going to tap A three times. One, two, three. All right, now we're going to hit plus and we're going to equip the leftmost silver line of blade or whatever weapon it is you're using to fuse to the MSG not found. We're going to drop the rightmost one, drop the middle one, and then drop the left one. We're going to equip MSG not found. We're gonna hit plus twice very fast, like that. And you shouldn't have any weapons get added to your inventory like this. If you don't, it's worked. But if you do, you're gonna to need to be a bit further away from the wall. So you're gonna just have to tap A and do a couple of more parries to make sure your distance is enough that you do not get anything added to the wall. But as it turns out, we did get it correct. So if it was correct for you, drop the uh, MSG not found as well. And now we're gonna walk right on over here to Silver Lino Blade we put near the wall. And voila, guys, voila. We have a Master Sword with 91 plus attack six up. So as it stands, the Master Sword we just picked up, this is it, uh, is kind of slow. But we actually can change that by re-equipping the normal Master Sword or any other sword and going back to it. So here we have it now and it's normal. It's fast paced, it's fast attack. And yes, it's running low on energy, but it will never break. So the key features of this new sword that you just made is, it shows you the damage that it has here, 91 plus six, which you can do better on, but it's also flashing red. That's key because every weapon in the game that is flashing red does double damage. So folks, you have 182 damage weapon right here that will never break. And yes, you can do better. <laughs> That's a wrap on this video, folks. You just made yourself an unbreakable 182 damage weapon by copying this video. And yes, you can do better. I believe the best you can do is 208 damage and it's all unbreakable. You can use it as much. <laughs> you're just, you're, you're OP now at this point after making this weapon. Nothing's gonna get in your way. You're good to go. Have fun with that. Just again, if it's not working for people, do keep an eye on the equipment you have on and the distance you are from the wall. You want to make sure everything that happens here that you saw in the video is ex the same. If weapons are going back into your inventory, you're too close to the wall, you want to get a little further away. So tap A once or twice more so you can go a little bit more distance. But you want to also make sure you drop the sword about the same distance as you saw in this video. So thanks for watching. Drop a sub to stay on top of the latest glitches and I'll see you guys around the next video. Have fun. Till then. Bye.